guys this is Talia welcome back to my channel um today we are here with floss two number 11 so I just want to say welcome to everybody thank you for coming back to my videos if you new welcome um, my name is Dahlia and my channel is about every craft that is out there I do a little bit of everything but this video is about cross stitch so um, I hope you guys are doing well and you're still safe and continue doing what we're supposed to be doing. We're still in quarantine here. Uh, we st I'm still out of work, so just doing it day by day. So let's jump right of it. This past week, I wasn't that productive. I didn't cross stitch. Um, Monday, I didn't do nothing. Wednesday and Thursday, I did not do nothing. Monday and um, Monday, I was I find out about this app, which I'm gonna share with you guys later. Um, um, after I share the what I work about this app to organize, I watch videos. Uh, I watch all kind of videos. I watch cross stitch videos. I watch um sewing videos i watch scrapbooking i watch all kind of every craft that i do so i was watching this um sewing ladies and she was um talking about organizing her fabric and this app and i thought it was perfect for 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 to organize all my stuff because it's i'm gonna use it for scrapbooking to organize my stamps and dies i'm gonna use it for everything so um but i will share with you guys that so that took me a little bit in the on monday and then after that i didn't want to do nothing else so i only work in three whips this week um i did do the stitch -a -thon from the finish line um the cross stitch finish line group i did it i didn't work too many hours i think i worked a total of 11 hours through the weekend so i think that's enough it was enough for me um i did a little bit of progress um so but let me share with you guys what i did um on tuesday monday i didn't cross this so i didn't work on nothing on tuesday i work on the let's stay home um freebie so I will put a picture here. I got fancy. Like if you saw my last video, I got fancy of um, inserting videos. I find um inserting inserting um pictures. I figured it out because I use my phone to record and to I don't edit. I just put it in in iMovie and and too and sometimes i did cut stuff that i could cut off like the dogs barking or whatever but i don't do too much editing so i was playing with it i was i was inserting a picture but i didn't like it the way they was inserting and i was like no it's doing it wrong and i don't know why that press that it says um picture and picture and split um screen i was like so I found a way to do it by mistake, but I found this. So now I'm getting fancy and I will insert a picture right here of where it was before. And this is the um the freebie and um I finished the fence, but I did not start at the house. Um, so let me share with you guys where I'm at. So I did finish, um, I started, I already finished the fence. So if I work on it today, I don't know, cause I think I'm gonna continue organizing my patterns. So if I cross this today, which I don't think I will, um, I will start to do the, the outline of the house down here so i could get to her because i want to do her next and then after i do her then i do the house the bird is not gonna make it he's not he's out of the picture and then this this is this is this one is not that small so so yeah so that's all i have in that one and uh what i'm using is it's a 14 count ada vintage blue by swagger which i got a hobby lobby and i like it because it has like it has like white spot you can see it right there 
it's a, it looked like clouds so i like i like that for that house so that's what i have i don't know my dogs are going crazy there must be somebody near the house because if they send somebody they go crazy so that's what i did for the let's stay home i don't i wasn't very productive but I, it's fine this is not a race for me the next one that i work was my butterfly butterfly girl which is my um printed um kit from alias press so i work on this one a little bit Oh, and let's, let's stay home. I work only on Tuesday. I work for one hour and I only put 135 stitches. From this girl, I worked, I don't have a picture. I forgot to throw a picture of this one before I started working. So I don't have a picture for this one. Um, but I'll, I'll explain to you what I did. Uh, do I have another one? Didn't I brought four? This one is big, so I had to... Okay, so um, on this one, I had work on her skin first. So I went up to here. I didn't want to continue going too far let me move jasmine oops hold on Ooh, what happened okay so i had to open it here so i work the first time i work only her her skin so this on tuesday i work on it for two hours and i put 303 stitches and where I work was, I did all this part right here. I worked this part right here. And then I put some of right here, some stitches right here. And then I did, what else I did? So that's it. That's how I worked. And that's 300 stitches. Yeah, you got to touch it. You, it's hard to tell where, where I work. So, yeah, so that's what I did. I work this right here, this blue right here. I did all these flowers right here. Um, I work this part right here, this gray right here. And then I work, I started working this right here. So that's what I did. Not much, but 300 stitches to it. This is a big piece. This is going to take me a lot of time to work on it. And like, I don't work on it every day. So, but like I say, I'm not in no rush for these things. I do these things just for fun. So that's what I did in my butterfly girl. And then that was on Tuesday. Wednesday, I didn't do nothing. Thursday, I didn't do nothing. So, so that's all I have in that. Why every time I turn off the camera, I get itchy. My nose get itchy. Everything gets itchy. So let me put this aside. And then, so Friday... According, I didn't do my, none of my prompts during the week. Um, on Wednesdays, I was supposed to work on Serene. Serene never came out of, out of timeout. I didn't do that. Um, Thursday, I was supposed to work on the laundry basket. I didn't touch it. And then on Friday... It was start. It was started the stitch a ton from the um the cross stitch finish line, so I said I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. And then I decided to do it. So on Friday, I didn't start it at five o'clock. I feel uh feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Um, on Friday, it was supposed to excuse me. It was supposed to start on Friday at five o'clock, but I didn't start it at five o'clock. I started at my usual time that I start cross stitch at seven at seven. So. 
I did that. So the whip that I picked to to work on because um was the gypsy queen because like I had to frog it out so I didn't have much um uh, much on it. So um so I picked my gypsy queen and that's the one that I worked in. I worked on three days. I worked Friday, I worked Saturday, and I worked Sunday. I didn't work Saturday a whole day, just a couple of hours. Um, maybe if I do it again for the next one, I will try to do more time. But I did a total of 11 hours between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I think that was great, more than what I would normally do. And I put a total of 1,092 stitches. So that is great. So I'll insert a picture here of how it looked before, what I had done before, and this is what I had what I did for that. I mean, I did a I did a lot. I'm happy with what I did those three for those eleven hours, those three days. I, I like it. I could see you could see already already um starting face. Ooh, got stuck could see it right here you could tell you could see already her face all this is beat it already all i had to do is back stitch around here i had to do some back stitch around here and one around here i haven't done that yet next time i work on it i'll do it and then continue filling out this right here because i was going to work up to here because i'm trying to work two lines at the same time but I still had a lot of thread on the needle and I didn't want to cut it. So I just went down and finished until I finished the thread. So when I went a little extra, so I did part of her neck. I still got to do a little more neck here. So, I mean, that's a lot. That's amazing. I love, I love it. I love it. You could already start to see her. So I really, really love that. So the breakdown on this, uh, on Friday... I worked for three hours on Friday and um, I put 229 stitches and then on Saturday was the longest that I worked. I worked six hours and 47 minutes straight on this thing and I put 661 stitches because I had to beat as I go so beating takes time. And then on Sunday I didn't work much. I wasn't feeling well yesterday. I was like trying like getting the migraine and i didn't want to get the migraine so i started i just stopped doing it and just laying in bed watch tv so on sunday yesterday all i worked was an hour and a half and i put 202 stitches so that's the total of 1092 stitches through 11 hours through monday between um, friday saturday and sunday so that is what i did and i love it and this thing broke because I don't get tension so good. Look, I even had to put a hair clip just to help with the tension. Um, and I was like tiny and tiny and tiny. Look, this shit broke. So this thing is going to the garbage. I'm going to order um, ones that I saw in one, two, one, two, three stitch. And I'm going to order those to see, um, to see. So that's what I have so far. So I'm happy with that she will not come out again on to next saturday she only comes on saturday or she if i spin and she comes out but i haven't been spinning so that's all the craft that i did um all the cross stitch that i did um the plans for this week is um what's today Today's the 20th. Um, today I'm supposed to start a new one, which is my head. But I haven't received the fabric. I did find the fabric. I, w I did a mistake when I was calculating the fabric. Um, I use a, a fabric calculator that I have. Um, excuse me. That I have. Um when i was calculating for 14 count i didn't realize that stitch over two was on so that's why it was giving me a humongous amount of fabric because i was calculating 14 count over two 
that's insane so um i don't know why i went back to the calculator i said something must be wrong because i mean it's a mini it's not supposed to be that huge and when i looked and because it saved what the last um that i did i realized that oh because i think that what i did was first i put 28 count over two to see how much it was and it was the same thing as an ada so i was like i might as well get the ada and i forgot to put the when i did the 14 count i forgot to take away the over two and that's why it was giving me a humongous um fabric so I fixed that and then I went to one, two, three and I ordered the fabric. I ordered a whole bunch of fabric. Oh my God. But fabric in one, two, three is expensive. So um, I made a big order. I think I order, and they are running behind because I just got today my first, I had two orders for them and I just got this today the first order they are running behind and i understand everybody's shopping online so i know they are so i ordered and the second way i ordered the the fabric for to start um foregone my head i ordered 14 pieces of fabric that was a lot of fucking money that was a lot of money and of course fabric can have fi uh, travel alone so i order five charts more so waiting on that so i mean they are running behind because i usually get my one two three stitch order within a week this one took two weeks for me to get it so i will not be starting the the one that i supposed to start today until may i guess so it is what it is i'm gonna i mean it is what it is i'm not gonna be mad or whatever this is a hobby it's not to be pissed or none of that thing whenever i arrived i started so so if i decide to like i can do that i cannot do the new star we also have a prompt for the finish line it's twinkle twinkle style so everything that has sparkle i could stitch on it so we'll see if I pick something to stitch on it um, that has sparkle. And also the let's stay home are supposed to work it. So, but I don't know. I think I'm going to continue um, uploading my, my whips because right now I'm explaining that to you guys now. So that's that. And then on Wednesday, I'm supposed to work on my laundry. And then... Um, on the 24th friday we have the arbor day so anything that contain a tree and then also from the from the finish line we have an excuse to start something new if i want to start something new i don't have no fabric i cannot start nothing new so um and that's it and then saturday again gypsy queen and uh oh i should work today my lady of the flag because i didn't work on it yesterday because i was working in the stitch -a tone with the gypsy queen so i have options if i decide to scratch this today i don't know i might do an hour maybe i'm not sure so about that app that i'm talking about it's an app it's something like pinterest it's like pinterest but it's called trello maybe you have heard of it i never heard of it until now until when i saw that video and i like what she did so you create boards like that's what i'm saying it's like like um like pinterest but uh, this has some things that is better for me the pinterest so this what it is it's trello that's the name of it right there trello it's free they have upgrade you could they have um this is more like for business meetings and stuff like that that you could add people that they could uh work in the board uh, with you but you don't have to do it like that. You could do it just for personal use. And the pay S the pay thing is things that I don't for that kind of, of, of thing. But I don't need it, so I don't have to pay for it. So I'm using the free. So you create boards. Those are all the boards that I have created so far because I'm working on it. I created a cross stitch pattern. I create for uh to keep track of my color and cut and floss and fabric. And for the fabric that I have for Victoria Moto's floss, 
I created a board for my sewing so I could, I could catalog my sewing patterns and the fabric that I have. That's how that girl was using it. I created one for scrapbooking so I could catalog, guys, ca cata put catalogs of my stamps, my dies, my punches, everything I had, the collections that I have, everything I have, because I also have it on the phone. So I have it in my iPad, I have it in my desktop, and I have it in my phone. So um, it's easy, it was easy for me to work in the iPad, and then when I needed to upload the picture, just take a picture directly with my phone, and it will go instant, instantly, it will go to the board. And then it, that you're using. So I also use it, I did, so let's go into the cross stitch, and the good thing is you had the backgrounds, those have pictures that I found there. So let's go to my cross stitch one. And this is all the boards. The picture is just one that I found. So that's all the board right there. So I created um, boards. So I have um, stitch patterns. So I could put all the patterns that I have that are not um, kitted that I have, but I haven't kitted them yet. Then I have a PDF cross stitch board so i could upload all the pdf patterns that i have here then i have my current whips so uh, i'm just started so far all i have is those right there that i still i'm i think at number 15 and i have 31 so i had to add it 31 more then i put aliexpress kits all the kits that i have from aliexpress is going to have a board um then Kitted patterns, whatever I have that is not AliExpress kit, but it's already kitted for future starts, it's going to have a, a board. Then I did a board, even though this is uh, my whips, this is my whips, still, it's in my whips also, but I created a board for full coverage that are none head. And then I have my head pad board, which I haven't uploaded none of them. Then I divided Christmas, even if it's whips or not, it's in here in my Christmas. And then I have my Halloween. Then I have Mirabilias, whatever Mirabilias I have, it's gonna go here. It has, it's gonna have its own board. Then I have um, an ornament board for everything that I have that is ornament even if it's a whip or it's something that I want to start in the future it's going to have it's going to be here and then I have my Christmas I still could add more I haven't finished with this I'm just as to go so let's look at the whip one so um once you create the board you're gonna you click on it and you got all this information you could put, add information here so I added the num the whip number because all my whips has a number. Hold on. Okay. So let's get close to this. So I added the whip number. Why is I hope you guys can see it. So I added the name of the of the whip that's how you create the list because in every board you add list and so i created i i did the laundry right and then i added the information that i want to remember i put the whip number i put the name of the pattern i put the designer of the pattern and i put the start date once i finish i will add finish date and any notes that i want then the good thing is you could label this thing. So like I'm doing these challenges with finish line. Like right now, um, everything they have, everything the sparkle. So I have a, a tag, a label that says sparkle. So I could do search sparkle and everything that has, is tagged with sparkle, it will come out. So so I added labels. I create, you know, I looked at the pattern, I added labels. Uh, I put words and letters because it has words. If I have a, if I have a prompt that say write with anything that has letters, I could work on this one because this one has letters. I put almost finished. 
because this is almost finished. So if I want to say, let me pick a whip that is almost finished and finish it completely. So I could put in the search, almost finished and anything that is tagged with almost finished will come out. And then I put backstitch and brown. So if I, if, if I have a problem to say work in anything, then it should be backstitch. So I put backstitch and it will show me all the whips that I have that needs to, that needs back shit, back, back shit, sorry, <laughs> backstitch to be done or in the, or in the pattern and it will show up so I could pick. And the other thing over here is you could add images. So that's why I use, when I was adding this stuff, I was using the iPad for that. But when I got to this part, I just went through my, to my phone, opened the, the app, opened the, the, the list and throw the picture and it went automatically it goes to the it was it went to to the board and then um i also added checklist so i put um whip was work on 2020 so i could keep track track and what month this whip was work as you can see here this week this whip is being worked in april so when i mark april it put a line across like it was working in April, so. So that's a good feature they have. So I got all the months there. And then you could add comments to your So this is this part is like what uh add comments is where all the people that work the and the meetings, whatever, could add comments to the boards for stuff like that. But I just put a comment that it was it was a focus piece in April 2020, in case I don't finish it. Hopefully I will finish it, but let's say it's a big piece. Let's say like work, um, quick, um, the, the gypsy queen I'm working on it, right? It's been a focus piece in since March. Let's say that in May, which in May, everything is going to be on hold because I'm, I'm going to be doing, um, stitch mania, right? So. I could and and I could come when I put my gypsy queen. I could come down here and make her know that she was a focus piece in March and April, and then like that when I come back to it, I could see when was the last time I worked. I mean, I still could do it with my planner because I keep track of the days that I work in my planner. But if I just want to scroll through this, all the information is here. So I thought I was good and. Yeah, so that's how this thing work. Um, serene. Same thing. I put the same information. I tag, I label her. So it's like tags. It says labels, but it's tags. So um, she's a full coverage. She has a lot of black. She has a lot of confetti, fun confetti, dark and red. So that's why when I was putting it out, looking at the pattern, that's what I could come up with, you know? So if I have a, a stitch, they have a, a thing stitching something dark, I could start, um, I could stitch on her because look, she has a lot of dark. So that's what is that. And then I put the same thing, the checklist. And then I put a comment, currently she's in timeout. So that's what I did. I mean, it takes time. Um, that's why I want to do it now that I have 31 before I start the 20th um, starts that I got to do. Or that I, I got to do. I want to do for, for Stitch Mania. And like that, every day that I start a new one, I will add it. I will add it there. So like that, I keep up with it. I was doing that with a binder. I never kept track of it. If you could go back to my videos, I had a binder. I never kept track of this. I liked it this because I have I have my iPad next to my bed all the time, and I'm always on my iPad if I'm not in my phone. So um, and the same thing is on the phone. So you you could see here. So it's right here on my phone. Trello, click on it, and there you go. You go to cross stitch, and all the things are there. So. If I'm on and about and I'm buying something, I could go, I could go to my patterns, my patterns, um, I 
I could go to my patterns. I don't have nothing right now, but I could scroll through it and see if I have something like it, if I have it or something, especially when I'm ordering online. I could just click, I could have it open in my desktop and look at it. So I think this this app is great for organizing all your stuff and you could keep track of what you do with your patterns and because you could add notes every as you go. I wanna see, I'm gonna try today if I could add another picture like in the, in the comment section if I, I could add, yeah, I think I could do that. I could add a picture. I could add a comment. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. So let's say I could delete it later. So let's say here uh, I want to add a picture of, throw a picture of the current, um, what I worked on is. So I could, I could let's choose a file. Browse on my iPad. No. No, I had to have the picture. I had to do it with like with the phone. Like upload it. If not, I had to upload the picture to iCloud and whatever. But it's easier just to do it through the directly through the phone. So that is something that I'm going to do today so that's about hold on guys okay guys so yeah that's what i'm gonna be continue working tonight trello and upload uploading my uh my my whips at least at least finish uploading my whip so when i start stitch mania i could add up as i go the only thing that i worked this week also i was trying to make some bags so this is the bag that I'm making. And remember that I said that for this style, the pattern that I'm, the tutorial that I use and the person use bias tape around it. I don't have none. I did order again from Joanne. They ship partially my order. So waiting for it. But what I was using, what I was trying to use it is this thing that is called seam binding. So I said, maybe I could try to use it, but it's not wide enough. So it's not, it's not right. And then for some in the back, you see, it, it doesn't cover it right. So I'm going to rip this out and I ordered some VS tape and um, waiting for that to come. And I continue working on them because the ones that I cut first was this style, the one with the vinyl. So I had to wait on, to, and you see, I pull, I pull white fabric in the back. I did not, um, mm -hmm. this one has beige fabric and the, and the inside. So that's how I decided to go. And that's the back. So that is this style. I had to wait on to, I received the virus tape, um, to continue working on them. I have like 12 cut. Then I did this little one because I have one cut for a big one, but I got away for the virus tape. So I did this little one and it has red inside. And I use my snap buttons. So that is that one. And then I did one like this envelope style with the girls. And it has white fabric inside. So that's only the only two that I was able to finish and um, I still got a lot of fabric to work on. So, but I don't have inside fabric. That's the problem. So I have cut, I think seven that I have fabric for. And I think I have maybe for maybe one or two more, but I haven't cut no more until I finish um, sewing those. So. If not, I had to wait until, you know, stores are open and I could get fabric. But I love this fabric. I got to get me more of this fabric of the Hobby Lobby girls. So that's what I did. So now let's go into haul. Haul. So I am happy to say that I ordered my Lori Sten. It's coming from the UK and it's half pink. It's fuchsia. I was... I was like, oh my God, I got to get it. So, cuss me an arm and a leg. <laughs> but 
but I got it. I needed it because the one that I use in the one that holds this scroll thing is it broke. So this thing broke. And then, um, because this is the one that you put under your legs, you sit on it. So I don't know what happened. The thing, the part that hold this, it doesn't tighten no more. The, 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 the screw keep going round and round and round. So it's not, it's not good no more. So that's going to the garbage. So I ordered this one. I try to find it local, you know, in the U.S. everywhere is sold out. So I went to the website, the Lor uh, Lori Workstation, and then I saw that they had it in pink and on stock. I said, yeah, I got to get it. Cost me $200, guys, $200. But that's what lasts me forever. I, I have heard good reviews of this. Everybody loves it. Everybody swear by it. Everybody say they cannot work without it. So I took the punch and bought it because I'll need it. So I'm waiting for that. I don't know when this thing is going to arrive. When I will arrive, it arrives. So then I was in Etsy, you know, buying stuff that I'm not supposed to be buying. And um, that's the thing. I had so much time in the computer. But when I was working, I used to be, you know, in and out on my phone and time. When I come home, I work in a computer. So when I used to come home, who want to sit in a computer if I just sat for seven, ten hours in a computer and... I don't want to sit in the computer, but now I have so much free time. I get up and I, the first thing I do is sit my ass in the computer and I don't get up there for like three hours. So I go everywhere, everywhere. And all I, hear, all I hear is that click, bye, click, bye. And I got to stop. I have to stop. I, I got to do one more order, two more orders. And after that, that's it. So I was in, um, I never buy needle minders from Etsy. My own opinion, I think they are overpriced because I could find the same design in AliExpress for under a dollar. So I never buy, neither mind it. I understand you got to make your money. You got to do what you got to do. That's whoever wants to pay that price could pay. It. I don't care. I usually don't like to pay that price. So I needed a Frida one. Well, I didn't need a Frida one. I wanted a Frida one. Because I went to Etsy and I ordered the fabric so I could make a bag. So I got my Frida fabric. I have my Frida pattern that I'm going to start. I got the, the fabric today. So I'm going to, it's, it's a start of mania. So I got the fabric so I could do a, a, a project bag. So I was like, I need a needle minder. I went to Ali. I ordered one from Ali. But I still have not received what I ordered in February from AliExpress. So since February, I'm waiting for stuff. So I don't know when that one is going to arrive. I mean, I don't mind. It's a different one. So I don't mind having two Frida needle minders to use them whenever. So I got the fabric. And then I bought this needle minder from... Gina's Unique Needle Minder and Etsy. Gina Unique Needle Minder. So I bought that Frida one. She sent me this one as a freebie, which I appreciate it. So, isn't she adorable? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So I bought that more than what I would like to pay for, but I wanted it, so I bought it. And then I saw this one and I need to have it. I really needed to have it. This is from another um, store. This is from Needle Minders and More and Etsy. And it's this one. And you know why I bought this? Because I have um, Queen of Freedom. I know that's so out of print from Mirabiria, the Queen of Freedom. You can find it no more. And if you do, you find it for a lot of prices. I found the kit in AliExpress and I bought it. So I'm waiting for that kit and that's for that. And when I get the kit, I'm going to change the flag. It's going to be the Puerto Rico flag instead of the American flag. Because I already got Lady of the Flag. So I don't need two American flags. So 
I'm a I'm gonna do my Puerto Rican flag. But I saw that and it was perfect for that kit. And I said, I need to have it. Again, more than what I would like to pay for needle minders, but I never seen this, something like this in AliExpress. So I'm sure this come from somewhere from China. But, those are, and I ordered an extra one. I ordered a bed one because I'm a star sleeping beauty and I needed a bed one. But I try not to buy needle minders from, from Etsy because I find them overpriced. But again, my own opinion. I know people got to make the money, but I'd rather buy this stuff from AliExpress and wait for it. But like everything is being delayed. I mean, since February, I haven't received nothing that i had purchased from i'm waiting like for 25 items and those 25 items i think 15 are kits so then from amazon i got some pens so i could do my greeting my great um greeting in my fabric the friction erasables for that out of some scissors because I needed some fabric scissors. I was using some paper scissors and they wasn't cutting the fabric good. So um, that's, and I ordered some thread and some other stuff, but everything is being shipped partially. I don't understand it. So that's from, um, this I'm gonna leave it up here because I do the, the sewing up here that going downstairs. Make sure I'm putting everything in my bag. And then from, that was from Prime. So I received, um, in my last video, I said that I joined the Addits um, Creative Quilting. So this is the bag. I canceled it because it's not worth the $30 I paid for it. No. They said that um, in the thing, you get everything, including notions that you need to complete the pa the project. What I received was a pattern and four, fa and four pieces of fabric for $30. No, I canceled that. For $30, I buy the 20 pieces of, of, of fat quarters and I get more for my band. So you get this. This is a, this is a basic guy and it's the pattern. No, this is how you cut and all that stuff. So this is what I got. And this is... You're supposed to do this. The country fair pillow. I really don't know how to, I don't quilt, so I really don't know how you do all this stuff. I only wanted it for the fabric, but it's not worth the $30, sorry. So I cancel it because you could cancel anytime. And this is the fabric I got. So I got this one. It's a pretty fabric, but not worth the $30, sorry. When for twenty for twenty five dollars I could buy I said it was fifteen dollars but actually it was twenty five dollars I went back and checked it's twenty five dollars for twenty pieces of of fat quarters which is great compared to thirty dollars for four pieces so I got this one which this two match perfectly so that's a bag right there and then you got well you get six pieces sorry. Still, it's not worth the $30, in my opinion. Then you got this one. With this one. That this is another bag right here. And then you get this one. This one. And this one. So I got three bags here. I got that one. That one. And that one. So that's what I got for $30. Not worth it. So I canceled that. Um, right now, the... Um, the person that I bought the, the fat quarters doesn't have that at the moment. I emailed them. They said they ran out of, <laughs> of fabric, that they're getting more. So once they put it back up, I'll buy again. And that's good because that means it's new fabric. I will not get um, repeats. 
I'm gonna leave this up here because this is to sew up here, so I don't have to take this downstairs. Okay, the next thing that I got was my one, two, three order. And I got some patterns, so this is all the, the new floss. I also bought some extra, like for the browns, she needed like six skins, so I bought those. Um, but all this mainly is all the new ones. I always throw white in there because, no, that's not white. That is, um, it looks like white, but it's a white. Yeah, that's white. This is number 27. It looks like white, but it's it's nice, like a grayish thing. So, yeah, so those are the colors that I needed for because I use my main, um, my main, um, threads i have the whole set so i use that and but i when it's uh when i'm gonna need a lot of one i always buy that one and these are all the new ones that from one to 35 whatever she needed is in there either one either two or three of each so i got that then i got um lissy kate um dog's list print paw prints greens the little um button it's a a charm the bone charm so that is that i got the afternoon in paris i've been wanting this and i love every, anything paris paris is a decoration in my house so i got that one then i got wooden life be great also by lucy kate i love the saying that's part of 154 guys today i bought four brenda gervais gervais pattern i gotta stop every day i buy something i had to stop so that is that one and this is the fabric that i ordered for for frida it is a 18 count Ooh, 18 count 18 count count gray white petite point by it's 10 by 18 so perfect for frida so this is where frida is going to be stitched so that is uh, my order for one two three then i order from stitching frog and then I have a, a Etsy pattern also. And then I have a whole bunch of free patterns that I want to share with you guys. They keep coming out with free patterns and free um, sows. So from Stitching Frog, I order the Seeking Refuge, Refugee. And um, I don't know when I'm going to... I don't have fabric. Like I did a big order, 14 pieces of fabric from one two three stitch i'm waiting for it i should get it by next week maybe and i spent an arm and a leg and then i was like buying fabric like that is expensive where i could buy fabric by the bolt or by yard and i kept looking and looking and looking and searching everywhere amazon came up it was sold out I think it was five yards, a boat of five yards for a hundred dollars of Ada was sold out. Joanne was sold out. Everywhere was sold out until I found this place. It's called the burlap burlapfabric.com. I found it. So I found some Ada there and they sell by the yard. And it was 11 for the Ada 14 count. It was in, but they didn't have white though. So I bought the natural beige, beige, it was a light beige, cause you could always um, dye it. If you need a darker or if you need a different color, if it's light beige, you could, you could dye it. So I bought 10 yards. Yes, I spent an arm and a leg too. 10 yards of the beige one. I bought two yards of the baby blue which i should have bought more i think i think i'm gonna go back and order at least three more yards of the blue one 
and then I order one because it's 16 inch so it's wide and then I bought one yard of black so I'm waiting for that I don't know I haven't received a shipping notice yet they charge it already but I haven't received a shipping notice for that but like that, I will have, I will cut it and, you know, I will cut it in one eighth and fat quarters and leave a few of them half a yard. So for bigger projects, like heads and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm going to have fabric. I'm going to have fabric. And I join another fabric of the month is, was teaching me something like that. I can't remember. Somebody saw it from somebody said it in first tube and I do it. So yeah, so I ordered this one. So once I receive and that's you see that had like a beige fabric. So once I receive all that fabric that I order in bulk, I could start cutting and having fabric for that. Then in Etsy, I went to Lindy Stitches and I bought this fabric. I don't know. I have a thing for houses, samplers, beginning to like sampler. I have a thing for samplers, houses, anything that has a house, I want it. And everything that is about needlework, I want it. So I bought this one. Again, I don't have fabric at the moment, but once I receive all that fabric, because the 14 pieces that I order from one two three stitch already has a pattern in mind those are the ones that i need for start stitch mania for those pattern that i'm going to start in stitch mania so i hope i get them next week because if not well even though i'm if not i'm going to have to because first i was going to do stitch mania starting on the 10 because i have final at the beginning but i already took my finals because with this thing we could um they're giving us an opportunity to do as much as we can to get it over with so ready did my finals um so i'm done with that i'm done with school i took fast and did everything so i'm done with that so i could start stitch mania on the first but and the way i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do 20 starts right and then the last 11 days i'm gonna work on one whip those 11 days and it's going to be my head my new head for gone for gone she, uh, she's going to be work the last 11 days of may non-stop and then my 20 stars but <laughs> if i don't get those fabrics on time i can't do nothing because all the fabrics are there for the head and for i mean i still have I, I have a few that i could start that the how do I? No, I don't. They don't have fabric. Yeah, I think I have I have two or three kits that I could start. Ali kits that I could start. I'll figure it out. But anyway, this is one that I did. I mean that I bought that I it's gonna be starting mania. So that is all the purchase that I did. So as you know, we're still working with the hashtag be still, be well and stitch. So I found a whole bunch of things, new things. I mean, they keep coming out with beautiful things. A lot of these things I'm going to stitch, but I'm not going to stitch the be well. And a lot of them, I wanted to incorporate them in project bags. So the first one that I found was this 2020 Linen and Thread Mystery Sampler. Um, this one I would do excuse me because it's a sampler and it's friends and family so it's a sampler let me show you april because um it already started it started in january i just find out about it i just gonna i'm gonna start it so this is uh february so for february you already have all that and as you can see it has a lot of initials i'm gonna i'm not gonna do the initials first and then um after because this is about friends and family so then after i finish it then i will add a couple of initials like my initials my kids initial my mother initial my father even though his past put my pat my father initial my grandmother the past initials um 
my brothers. That's all the, the most I would put. Like my family, my mom, my, my me, my kids, my mother, my father, even this past, and my grandmother, the past, and my two brothers. And maybe my nephews. We'll see. But I won't put that many. I mean, it has initials all over the place. I will not put that many initials. Just uh, the more close to my heart <laughs> family. So it will be, yeah, me, my kids, my mother, my father, my grandmother, my two brothers, and my nephews. And that's it. So I got to start this because I'm way behind. This is already done. But I didn't know about it. I don't know who saw in Flusstube was doing it. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, Dina. Dina was doing it. And she was talking about the same thing. She's not she's not putting the initials until the end. So she could see where initials and where she's going to put. So that is one. It's free. You go to Linen and Thread, Linen and Thread um, website. And it's right there. You're going to click it. Every month on the first, the new part is revealed. You click on it, PDF, download, boom, it's yours. So that's one that I'm going to start as soon as I get my fabric. The other one that I liked it, that I could do, um, oh, talking about the Duran Jones one, there's um, Garden South. This is the second part. It's a beehive. I kind of like it, so I might start it. Um, I might start it. So that's another one. That is the second part. Then the other one that I saw, I can't remember who it was. Some floss tuber. It was this kind of Deviant Houses style. So every, I don't know how this one worked. I just got it yesterday. I got to find out. I got to email. I got it from Instagram. It's from Mr. Stitch and Mrs. Needle. You email them, you let them know you want to be in the south, and they email you the instruction and the first house, which is this one right here. Like I said, I got a thing for houses, so I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to start this one. I think I have a gray. I have a 28-count beige that I could try to use. And I also have a 14 count silver one that I see if this fit there and I could start it right away. So this is the first one. Now I got to email them to find out how often. I was one, two, three, four, five, six houses. How often the houses are coming out? Because it doesn't say and it's, it's written in Russia plus in English. So I guess they Russian. Um, because it doesn't say how often they're going to send up the, the pattern. So when I go downstairs, I'm going to email them and um, contact them on in Instagram and find out how often the houses come out. And again, you get the color pattern or the black and white pattern. So that's another one that I found that I love. Then we had this one. I don't know if I show you guys this one. Let y'all be um, unconfined. I love this. This could be for year round sentiment. I think I did show it last time. And then this is the one from Sasuna Street. Let's stay home. I'm gonna do this, but the rainbow is gonna be in pastel colors. Rainbow is gonna be in pastel color. The house is gonna be, you know, pink. And it has a cat there. I don't know. I don't think the cat will make it. Because I don't have cats. So I don't think the cat will make it there. So I will stitch it just the whole color. And then you got home. And you can hardly see it because the house and the, and the home is almost the same color. So I'm going to do a contract on that so you can see it. And then the rainbow is going to be pastel colors. Very cute. I've seen a stitch already. It's cute as it is, but I rather have pastel colors. So then um, from the Black Knitted Society, all this pattern is under the hashtag be well and still and stitch. I saw that cute um bunny, honey bunny. 
It doesn't have nothing that says um, be well, but it's, it's under that has, it's, it's the same hashtag. So I thought that's cute for next Easter, because right now Easter is past. But for next Easter, I have nothing Easter. So I found that one and I printed. I don't know when I'm going to start all these patterns. But, and what I'm going to do is all these patterns that are under the Be Well and Stitch hashtag is going to have a own, its own binder. And then I'm going to write... Uh, I'm all right about it, you know, why we why we got all these patterns for about what was going on. So it will have his own book. Then from Erica Michaels, I found this one. I like what it says. It says, have a heart that never hardens, temper that never tires, and touch that never hurt. So that was a pretty verse also. So I will stitch that. Um is to stitch with wig dye with um works but i will be using my either dmc she has a combination for dmc for silks but i'll be using my, my victoria motor for that so that another one this is another one that i liked it this one i couldn't it didn't have no thing so i guess you use your own colors it didn't have no no color chart um thing so it says, let your love shine. So that was nice year round to, to display. So do that in my own colors. Um, this is another one by Lila Studio. It's a Be Well, again, another bunny. I will not do the Be Well and I will not do the 2020 because I will use it as an Easter piece. So yeah, I don't know what this line supposed to be because there's nothing in them. So those squares will not be in the pack when I do it and the 2020 and the Be Well will not be in it. And I will use it as an Easter decoration. That's that one. Then we have this one, friends. Uh, what it says, friends. I can the thread of love something I don't know so I can figure it a thread of love so I think that's an A I'm not sure so that's another one then it's this one choose happy and it says be well I will not stitch the be well and that choose and this choose happy I want it for for the for the front of the bag some of this I'm gonna be put in my bags I don't need that many um, of those things, but that's choose happy is going to be in the front of a bag and the be well will not be stitched. Or I could, instead of put be well, I put shoot, um, choose happy and stitch. Put stitch here and then put it in front of a bag. I, I thought this was not funny, but I, I laughed when I saw it. So this one says, I'm sorry the elf is close today so i thought this was perfect i will stitch this and i don't know where i put it but i thought it was then again the home the earth cannot really you cannot really see it well because it goes with the back of the of the word but um i will put a darker color so you could see it but this one was was good i liked it then um we got a stitchy gift from our daily thread by stone street stitch work from these people right here and it's to do this it says needle line linen thread stitch i thought that was a perfect piece to put in the to frame it and put it in your stitchy area and this is all everything everything is under that be well the be well um hashtag so so that was another one let's go a little faster because i have a lot we have this one faith trust and hope again you could use this all year round so i put that love this believe 
this is something that I will put in Christmas because I don't know, believe in Christmas, believe. So that's another one. This one was funny. I love this one. This is like Netflix, but this is quarantine and chill. <laughs> this is funny. Again, I would do this one. I don't know where I would put it, but um, maybe I'll put it in my stitchy place when I, once I have my stitching area because it's funny. I like it. Together, I will put it right next to this one. Where is it? The wall is closed. So these two will go next, next to each other. I'm sorry the earth is closed today. Quarantine and chill. Perfect. Love it. You know, you could... You know, a little sense of human, humor on, you know, between all this stuff. Then is this one. It says, I stay at home. And I really like this. And I don't know if I'm going to do the stay at home. But I will do that design and put it in a bag. That is cute for a bag. So that's my thought on this one. And so is this one. This is a blackboard design by uh, blackboard design by um, Arlene work at ABC. I never done blackboard. It doesn't look hard. So again, this is going to be in the front of a bag. And I love this one. This one, it says, um, this one's by this person. Can never try. I will not try to say that. And this is, says page one. I couldn't find page two. So I will do my own threads for, for that. Because I couldn't find the thing. I had the dimension of how big it is. But I couldn't find the colors. So I will pick my own colors for this. Again, has a house, needlework, and instead of 2020, I will put 2018. But that's the year that I started cross stitching, and it will be in my stitching area. I'm gonna have to have a excuse me, a wall so I could have all the stitching stuff that I wanted to. Then Barbara and I came out with two nice ones. And um, I don't know if this is for the stitching well. Because it was under all that. Under the, so it, I, I'm assuming it was because that's where I found it. Where I did hashtag be stitching well. I do it every day. Check to see what's new. And this one came out. And a lot of people are doing this. And I think they are hilarious. So I downloaded it. Um, light, that's the fox with the dress. I got to do this. I got to start this too right away as soon as i get fabric i gotta start this it is adorable so that's this um it's called light but he's being called the fox with the dress so i will do that one and then i found this other one it's called the key i don't know if this is a chicken or what the heck it is or or a peacock I really don't know what it is, but it has a dress. It's adorable because that's another thing. If he has a female or a woman with a dress, one of those big dress, I need to stitch that. So this is the other one. And I love that blue that she's stitching on. So I got to wait for my blue fabric to get here to stitch it in blue. That is cute. Then we have this Be Well and Stitch. And for Pete's sake, wash your hands. That will not make it. And when I do it, and the be well and stitch, I, I would do that, but it will be for fabric, for a bag. But this part right here, wash your hands, will not make it. So that's going to be for the front of a bag too. So I have a few that I want to put in front of bags because I don't know what I'm going to do with all these things once I stitch them. So might as well finish them in bags, right? Then we got this one, be strong, be kind, be well, love the house. Maybe the words will make it, maybe not. Maybe I'll do the house and just put a month in it, stitch a month. Hey, I could do everyone, I could do 12 of them and do different months and different colors of the houses. There you go. I might do that. This was from... 
Waxing Moon Design. Then we had this one by Needle Made Design. Be Well and Stitch. That's right there. Again, for, for a bag. This one says Stitch Well and Be, and be Calm. But I'm not going to do it like that. This is what I'm going to do. Stitch well with the butterflies. And it's going to be in a bag or, 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 or canvas bag or something. I'm going to finish this for something that I use. It could be a carry-on, you know, one of those bags. Or it could be a project bag. I don't know. But that's the only part I'm going to do. The stitch well and the butterfly. Then we got this one, stitch more and stress less. Again, this one is that, that this one is for a uh, project bag. Or I could do it like that and display it in my area. Don't know. Then we have this one, home is our safe heaven. And um, I just print a picture of how it looks. up. This is the pattern, it's a free pattern so I could show it. Again, then we have this one. The puppy got me on this one. It has a cat, but it's okay. I could do the cat for that. It says kindness always matter in 2020. The 2020 will not be stitch, for the rest will be. Again, this one, the be well will not be stitch. For the motif, I like it. I could be, it could be a little pillow or something. This one says be well and keep stitching. I think the only part I'm gonna do is the keep stitching. I don't know. I don't know if I do the whole thing or the keep stitching. And make it a little pillow and have a little one of those um wooden things that has little compartments that I could put like the little pillows in it and have one just dedicated for that. Calm and stitching time. That is for a project bag. I don't know when I'm gonna stitch all these things, but once I do, I, I do it. Um so this is all I got for the beware and stitch. And um, this other ones that I'm going to show, the first one, I, I saw it today, but when I found it, it was through the web from uh, YouTube, the ladies that I watched from Spain. She did a beautiful work with it, and it's from this Italian designer. His name is Renato Parolin. That's the name of the designer right there. It's Italian, and this is what the lady did. Look how beautiful. She changed the verse for a Spanish one, and she changed it for a lyric from a song, which I love it, so I might look up that song and do this instead of the one. But both of them are nice. But what she did was she colored each one. He has it as a one color. But she, she took the time, which I don't think I would do that, she took the time and she colored the flowers and she was she was kind enough to put her conversion here. So I got that. But it's this right here. This And she made a pillow, a uh, uh, cushion, which that's how I'm going to do it whenever I get to it. So it's this one. I love what it says in English too. So because it goes through what we're going to do. It says, through the darkness, the morning sun brought a message with a luminous embrance, it awakening the beauty of the world. So they, he has it as a just one color. So my thought of this, I did printed the conversion of the lady, but that she's, I saw her video. It, she said it took, it was a lot of work to do it that way. So what I'm gonna do is just buy three or four variegated colors, fancy, co fancy thread, they are variegated, they have a lot of variegation in them, and use that. Use, a, use one for the roses, use one for the other words, use one for the butter, and then use one for the for the verse. 
that's how I'm gonna do it. I ain't gonna go through all that trouble because I know I will never finish it. So that's I gotta go to one, two, three and see what I find or go to color and thread and cutting and coloring and oh, color and cutting and see what the variegation or Etsy, any silks or whatever and buy four of them and that's how I'm gonna work it. And I'm gonna put the year and I'm gonna make it a cushion. But while but I was in his website finding this um this pattern, I found a whole bunch of patterns too that I like. So he had and they're all free. They, he has this uh love tree which is perfect to to display in February. Then he has this macaroons Noel for Christmas. And he also has the macaroon trees of flowers. Macaroons with flowers. I thought that was beautiful. So I'll be doing that. Then he has this one for Christmas. And all this thing was free. Then he had this Christmas tree. But then it has bunny at the bottom. So if I do it, I will not do the bunnies. Because bunnies in Christmas, I don't know. Maybe in Italy, but not in the States. So the when I do it the Christmas uh the Christmas I do not do the bunnies. Then he had this one. And then he has the autumn tree. So that's all the good patterns that I found this week. I've been busy. See, I see too many times, so many hours in the computer. And so more patterns to add to my collection. I already have uh, two binders of free patterns. And um, I did subscribe again because I did it on 2018. But then 2019, I was in cross stitching. So I didn't renew my subscription for the Just Cross Stitch magazine. So I did it, so I already downloaded the 2020 and everything for 2019, and I already printed two patterns that I wanna do for Christmas in July. It has the red truck, I need to do it. So I already printed those, I'll show those when I show Christmas in July stuff. So that's it. That's all I have. Been busy, busy buying and printing free patterns. I think I have enough of Be Well um, patterns. Unless they some come up with something else that is, I got to have. I mean, they're free. I might as well download them and save them. If I want to do them someday, I'll do them. So yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I'm going to go back down now. Uh, for sure, I don't think I'm going to cross stitch today. I want to get these patterns upload the whips, at least the whips, upload in that Trello. So when I start Stitch Mania, I add every day the one that I start and I keep control it a little more. So I'm going to do that. That's going to take me a few hours because when I did it on Monday, it took me a lot. I still got 15 whips to add. So, yeah, and then I will do one for all the free patterns that I have, which I have a stack like this. So, it's a process. It's not something that you could do overnight if you have a big stash. And, <clears throat> excuse me, my stash is growing by the day. So, I have to try to control it now. Try to control it now before it gets out of hand, which is, is out of hand already because I tried a system <clears throat> when I started, but I didn't keep up with it. So now it's like I got a lot more. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. I will share again. I'll come back again this Monday and see what I did or why I didn't do. Um, I still have a lot of things coming in, so I'm sure I will have some haul to share. So that's it. So. Thank you for watching and until next time. Bye now.